press side, and we're going to go through some of the tests and trials we talked about earlier. This is John Christensen. He heads up Mark Andy University. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a uh, four color process job on a uh, 2.5 mil uh, label light material from MacTech. Running the LED inks. We're going to have two different ink suppliers and we'll do a change out in between them. We'll do a tape test, we'll do a rub test and uh, see what kind of results we get right off the end of the press. Okay, so here's the job that we're going to be running. It's a four color process running black, magenta, yellow and cyan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the press up. So first I want to make sure that our LED system is at uh, full power, which it is. And we're up at a run speed at 500 feet a minute. I'm going to dial in my camera. Everything's looking good. So then we're going to stop. I'm going to do a tape test. All right, so I'm going to just fill it back a little bit so I can check the, uh, check the adhesion and check the uh, rub. So I'm going to rub it, make sure it's uh, bonding good, which I don't have any rubbing coming off. So that's good. So I'll go to the next image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, 610 tape across it, give it a second or two to bond to the ink, and I'm going to peel it off. And now I'm going to look and see if there is any ink on the tape, which the tape is looking very clear. So that is a successful uh, tape test and a successful rub test. So I put it with my job and keep it for the customers, make sure that they're happy with everything that they get. So next we're going to put these aside and we're going to then change out and go to another ink set? Yeah, we're going to switch over, uh, keep the same uh, setup in as far as the color sequence, but we're going to switch out to go to another ink supplier. Okay, so we're running up our second, uh, second uh, supplier of ink. We're going to fine tune the registration, uh, verify, make sure we're at 100% LED output. And we'll go ahead and we can stop the press and we can do our scuff test and we can do our tape test. And we'll do a rub test on it, make sure that our ink is bonding. That's bonding really good. There's no transfer to my finger. We'll grab the 610 tape test. We'll slide to a different image. And again, we'll put the tape test on, the tape on there so we can do the tape test. Give it a few seconds and then just peel it off sharply and then look to see if you have any ink transfer to the tape. And this is a good tape test. John, what are the materials that we run on this uh, LED system? I've ran 80% um, shrink film, I've ran um, a 2.3 mil BOP, I've ran uh, semi-gloss material, I've ran high-gloss material from both Fasson and uh, MacTag. So there's a wider range of uh, substrates that can be uh, ran with using the LED system. When you've run all those, have there been any differences or challenges in running all those? Are they ran pretty much like you expect? Yeah, they run pretty much like uh, you would expect. Uh, very similar to the uh, UV system where you'd have to dial down the uh, output level based off the type of substrate that you're running. But, you know, if you can operate a UV system, you can operate a LED system.